Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we found out that the ancient pharaoh has kind of altered reality and made it so that everybody thinks that this reality where everybody worships him is the correct one. However, a select few are quite aware that this ain't right. In particular, the mole people here. Except this one. This guy is kind of having a little trouble remembering that this reality ain't right. And also Max. Max, of course, with his psychic powers, has been completely immune to the reality mind-altering effects of this new reality. Unfortunately, Sam is... Well, completely oblivious. He thinks this reality is normal and is quite eager to worship the Pharaoh that we must defeat. So we have to secretly defeat the Pharaoh, and that involves getting this corkscrew to the Pharaoh in order to get the Pharaoh's brain out of Max's body. I'm pretty sure that's what the eventual goalie here is. Watch this. It's Sam and Max holy brain screw. It's very important that we get close enough to return it to him personally. And there was a few seconds there where I couldn't do anything. That makes me a little worried, so I'm going to go ahead and save now. Oh yeah, we also got uh, our psychic abilities back. That's good to know. So let's go ahead and look at some stuff. A little bit of future vision. Six Semper Tyrannus, Junior! Yeah, we! That brain screw's a menace. And it makes people speak in gobbledygook. I think that's Latin, Max. That's not really useful information. And it doesn't seem to be anything else in here we can see the future of. So, do both cultures have the same future? Yep. Is there anything in here that we can possibly turn into? No. What phone numbers do we have right now? Stinky Cell and the cops. So basically... The car and Stinky, which are currently both upstairs, so no reason to go to the museum to give Lord Salmon Mac his brain screw. I bet I'll get a cool reward. Yeah, you'll you'll get a reward, all right. I still don't know how Skunkape managed to escape from the penal zone. Oh, we can talk to Max. Hey, Sam. What is it, Max? Feeling a little lost right now. Isn't that my line? Usually, but now that you're a member of Team Salmon Mac, it looks like I'll be doing all the driving. You're a funny little glob of protein, Max. Give me a clue. I better go to the museum to give Lord Salmon Mac his brain screw. I bet I'll get a cool reward. Give me a clue. Hmm. Sometimes I wish I could be an offering to Lord Salmon Mac. I'm a little fuzzy about how our last case wrapped up. Well, after Skunk Ape kidnapped you, I went on an embarrassing noirish rampage through the streets, eventually tracking you down to the museum, where I, uh, uh, hail Salmon Mac. Ouch! Looks like Salmon Mac's rewrite of history has more gaps than a British subway system. How long has Salmon Mac been in charge of everything? Oh, Salmon Mac's always been in charge. Ever since he emerged from the newly created sun, resplendent in his billowing robe of glorious wonderment, and banished the evil cat demons to the underworld. Cat demons? Yes. They ruled the earth in the before time. Huh. If Salmon Mac's so great, why is the city still such a mess? Salmon Mac doesn't stress cleanliness. He's more of a tithing and sacrifice kind of deity. So as far as you know, I've been a disembodied brain during the entire time you've known me, right? Um, yeah. How could I possibly be an effective force for violently ironic justice without fists, teeth, or a gun? Don't sell yourself short, Max. Your poisonous personality and sharp-edged container has gotten us out of more jams than I care to remember. Like? Well, there's... Hail Salmon Mac! 
Yeesh. This is reminding me of the Lady Lila Do. If Sam and Max in charge of everything, who's president of the United States? Don't be ridiculous, Max. You are. Phew. Of course, it's largely a ceremonial position. All you really do is go to a lot of mall openings. Ah. Any luck getting me a body? Why do you want a body anyway? You've never wanted one before. Forget it. Let's get a move on. Will do. By the way, hello there, Radio Raptor. Welcome to my stream. We're kind of dealing with some reality shenanigans. Reality changing shenanigans. Look, these grotty little mole people have made a primitive mosaic of Lord Salmon Mac. That's me, Sam! I think it's cute that you maintain such a positive self image, Max. Anything else? No, I think that's it. So let us head back up to the surface and see what we can do there with our newly reacquired psychic powers. Start with some future vision. I hope Girl Stinky's got an unlimited texting plan. Texting so 2009. All the cool kids are blimp dingling these days. You're cute when you make up tech fads, Max. No! I love Lord Salmon Mac! It looks like Grandpa Stinky's got a date with Lord Salmon Max heretic police in the near future. It's always the guy you most suspect, isn't it? So we have to frame him. How do we frame him? I like that there's a pair of guns pointing at the statue of Sam and Mac there. Oh, is that all the futures here? How about some rhinoplasty? Surely we got something we can shapeshift it to here, right? Apparently we can shapeshift into a credit card. Well, at least it's something. But I'm hoping that we actually get to shapeshift into something cool at some point in this series. Well, let me help you out with that a little, buddy. Don't mind if you do. You know, maybe it's just a 28.5% annual interest rate talking, but I'm feeling a mite peckish right now. A mite peckish? Have you been watching British TV again? I can't help it! The short seasons appeal to my limited attention span. Well... That's one way to get Max a body. Is he really out of the jar now? Yep, he's really out of the jar now. So let's talk to him. I'm pretty sure he's standing somewhere there. Yep. Come on. Let's talk to Credit Card Max. Hey, Sam! What is it, Max? No, oh, nothing new to say about that. Let's get a move on. Will do. Are we sure there's nothing else? Now that we're standing in a different spot. No, different spot, nothing new. Oh well. I wonder what we'll be doing with this credit card. I assume buying Sam and Mac a present. Hail Sam and Mac! Hail Sam and Mac! Hail Salmon Mac. Yeah, yeah, hail Salmon Mac. I wonder if Carol is still in there. Okay, first person I want to find is Frankie the Rat.
There's a phone a phone booth there. But but okay. How how were you able to slide across your car with a brain strap to your back? Oh, there's a store here. Well, in that case, this is probably where I'm supposed to be. If I'm gonna be franchised out, I should at least be collecting licensing fees. It costs four lots of grain to use this payphone. I remember when it was just a half bladder of lamp oil. Well, that's depressing. Made money a whole lot more confusing, didn't they? So we can't go into that alley there. Come when your on! toaster's gone kaput, bring it down to Radio Yurt. Mickey may charge an arm and a leg, but at least his poetry sucks. Who was kind of who was saying come on? Oh, I guess you. Frankie. Ah, jeez, as if I don't have enough trouble today. Now I gotta deal with the freaking freelance police. Beat it, coppers. Yeah, let us fleece our cousin in peace. Do my not ears deceive me, or are those rats mouthing off to us? I believe they are, Max. Shall we make a lesson of them? I believe we shall. Now be nice while we talk to your cousin. That Salmon Max sure is the bee's knees, isn't he? You know it, pal. Take a look at this cool bit of bling. If I get a couple more of these accessories of privilege, I'll be hobnobbing with the big S himself. Okay, we definitely need to get these badges. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we have a big salute. I think Max was supposed to say something there, but his voice clip did not come in. That is the second time this has happened this series. What sort of low-rent criminal shenanigans are you and your kin perpetrating out here? And please keep in mind that I can see the future, so I'll know if we'll be slapping you around for lying to us later on. Hey, there's nothing illegal going on here, honest. Me and my cousins were just engaging in a little friendly wagering over Samu Max, uh, what you call it, uh, gladiatorial bouts. Really? Yeah, uh, of course we don't actually bet on who wins or loses. That Skunkape gorilla's impossible to beat. Uh, so we bet on what the general's finishing move's gonna be. Finishing move? <laughs> How 90s. When General Skunkape finishes off an opponent, he'll use one of his six signature moves to do the deed. Before each fight, we make bets on which one it's gonna be. Fascinating. No, it's not. Humor the little rat guy, Max. Hey, you're a rat who knows how to get things. Plague, diphtheria, scabies. Do you have a line on any empty bodies that we could drop Max's brain into? I'm getting a little existential in here. I'd like to help, guys, but uh, that's a little out of my pay grade. I can fix you up with a nice car stereo, though. Thanks, we'll pass. Let's not be too hasty, Sam. The powers of my psychic brain melded to a kicking sound system could be a formidable force for justice. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. Come on, guys, grow some basal ganglia. If you ever wanted to see a rat kneel, there you go. We can place a bet? Okay, so... Whatever, um... Whatever... It's Coliseum goings on there are is really important then. Could you run through this whole gladiatorial gambling thing again? You probably couldn't tell, but I was asleep the last time. Sure, sure, no problemo. Like I said, me and the boys like to bet on which of the six signature finishing moves General Skunkape uses to annihilate his opponent in Samu Max Pit of Contrition. <laughs> uh, don't worry, guys, I got that. He's basically saying that we need to find General Skunkape, look at his future, see his finishing move, and then come back here and we'll know what bet we have to place because we'll know what his finishing move is going to be. That's some sweet Salmon Mac themed bling you got there. Bling? <laughs> Do people still say that? And not just any bling. 
This here's a genuine pendant of Inquisition, given to me by Lord Samu Mac after I personally checked the 160,000 orifices of 20,000 guests at the security checkpoint of His Majesty's Summer Soiree. Classy. Tell me we're not going to do that. Can I uh, borrow your thingy of Inquisition? No! How about throwing it in the pot to spice things up a little? Nah, uh, I'll stick with cash. Well, there goes that option. We'll place a bet later. Don't go anywhere, Frankie. Why would I go? I feel a hot streak coming on. Right in La Bonza. Radios. Do they still make those? Keep it down, will ya? We're trying to listen to the fights. Can we go into the store now? Get me out of here, Sam! Holy mother of Sam and Mac dancing the karaoke with the priests of Bast. What was that? I think they were dial-up modems. Hold me! <laughs> Ooh, that's brutal! <laughs> <laughs> oh, those were the days. Anything else here? I don't think there is, so let's find another place to go to. We got the gift vault. Well, we know we can't do anything here yet, so let's go ahead and go here anyway. Another phone booth. We're obviously going to need to use these at some point. How come your lord Salmon Mac hasn't fixed the city's broken down payphones? He's phasing in brand new communications technology. A vast network of vacuum tubes? Nope. Messenger slaves crawling through a vast network of vacuum tubes. Salmon Mac shatters storm. Citizens rejoiced as Lord Salmon Mac used his mighty powers to disperse a thunderstorm in advance to his annual visit to our fair city. And look, there's a picture. Use useless door. Oh, look, Sam, a door! Let's kick it in and blast the hell out of the poor slobs on the other side! Come on, Sam, what do you say? Huh? I hate the new reality! Nothing says beloved ruler like a ubiquitous surveillance network. Tribute collection number 714. Hey, Sal. Sam. Oh, there's the third badge. I just love your Sam and Mac accessory. Pretty sweet, huh? That's my ornament of fealty. Lord Sam and Mac gave it to me for exposing an evil heretic. A heretic? What, did he deny the quadrine nature of the esoteric illuminations? Worse. He didn't salute fast enough. That is bad. Kind of think of it, I forgot to use Max's powers over at the rats. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. So I'll go ahead and do that right now, before I forget. Okay, now that I got a better look at that, now I understand how he was able to do that with a brain strap to his back. Now then, time for some psychic business. Right in La Bonza. Start with you guys. Well, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why did I think he'd do one of those lame-o ape moves? Where was the scissor kick? Should I write that down? I should write that down. Apparently it's not going to be as simple as find out what he's going to use. We have to deduce what he's not going to use. So, no scissor kick. No, uh, uh, let's see here. What else? Well, come on, Skunkape. Use your stinking hands. No hand usage. 
Stupid, stupid, stupid! Why did I think he'd do one of those lame-o ape moves? What? No lame-o ape moves. Gotcha. Where was the scissor kick? Come on! Skunkape is moving in for the kill. Which one of his signature moves will he use? Is it... Oh man, that was even more useless than usual. There's like a sparkle here. Oh, and now it's gone. Uh, I guess there's nothing else in here. Oh, we can see down inside the jar. Interesting. Oh, that's brutal. Okay, how about some rhinoplasty? Can we turn into a toaster? We can. But I'm going to hold off on that for the time being. But I will at the very least write it down because it seems important. Toaster at rat place. Credit card at stinkies. These will be important things to keep in mind. Right in the Labanza. Well, just for funsies, let's use the phone and go back to the gift vault. It's faster than driving. I mean, our car is gone now. Eh, it's okay, we don't need it right now. It's about time they built an official Salmon Mac offering vault out here in the borough. Offering vault? You mean there's nothing in there but stuff that people have given to Salmon Mac? Yep. No more schlepping over to Newark for this Salmon Mac tithing doggy. Hey, Sal! Sam! Alright, let's go ahead and continue this conversation. So, to get my own ornament of fealty, I need to expose a heretic? Heretics aren't so easy to find these days. Everyone knows you gotta bow down to Salmon Mac if you wanna stay out of the pit of contrition. Okay, so that's another thing I'm going to write down. Make it so Grandpa Stinky can't bow down. Do we have to make it rain somehow? Possibly. Salmon Mac is handsome. Salmon Mac is cute. When we think of Salmon Mac, we give a big salute. I see you got a new job. Grand Vizier Paperweight was so impressed with my work as a museum security guard that he promoted me to the chief offering collector here at the regional offering vault 714. It's true, you cockroaches really are survivors. Yep, and now I don't even have to patrol. All I gotta do is guard this door and take gifts into this impenetrable offering vault. It's a little slice of heaven. How go the offerings today? Ah, yeah, you know how it is. In a tough economy, charitable contributions go right down the toilet. Even gifts to Lord Salmon Mac? I know. The guy creates the sky and the stars and the creatures of the field, and people let a little thing like a double dip recession stop them from paying their respects. It's a sick, sad world, Sal. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. Oh, yeah? I can't accept just any old thing, you know. The omnipotent one is kind of picky. What you got? How about this nifty brain in a jar? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? I'd make a perfect gift! Most people, sure, but Lord Salmon Mac has a thing about disembodied brains. Some sort of unresolved past life issues. Oh yeah, I remember reading about that in his autobiography. It looks like you'll have to stay out here with me, little buddy. You know, if Max here wasn't a brain, he'd probably make a fine offering. Sam and Mac loves it when people offer up their friends as gifts. Hmm. How about a handsome but seldom useful firearm? Lord Sam and Mac doesn't need guns. He can drop an army by wrinkling his cute little nose. I didn't know my cute little nose could wrinkle. How about an authentic Egyptian brain screw? Ooh, that's a really bad idea, Sam. Why? Didn't you hear? Salmon Mac hates those things. 
I should destroy it right now. We'd better hold on to it just in case Lord Salmonac changes his mind. Yeah, okay. He is a whimsical overlord. Nice save. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything worthy of his plenipotency at the moment. I hear you. I got worthiness issues myself. Salmon Mac is mighty. Salmon Mac is grand. The brilliance of Lord Salmon Mac is more than we can stand. Uh, get a room, will ya? Hey, Sal, does his absolute perfectionist have any empty bodies in there? My buddy's in the market for one. I'm sure he wouldn't miss it. First of all, the answer is no. Lord Salmon Mac doesn't have any empty bodies in there. Rats. Second of all, you really shouldn't kid around about stealing from the big guy. That kind of talk could get the Grand Vizier and his goons all over your keisters. If I had a butt, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I've got a gift for Lord Salmon Mac. We'll see about that. What you got? Uh, I was checking on it because it was still highlighted. Uh, on second thought, I don't think I have anything. I hear you. Catch you later, Sal. Hail Salmon Mac. Hail Salmon Mac right back at you, Sam. Oh, brother. Hey, stop bothering me. I finally found my place in Salmon Mac's blessed world, and I don't need my bubble rub by no freelance police. All right, fine. Anything else? Back away from the vault door, Sam. Come on, Sal, can I have a little peek inside? Like all good Sam and Mac enthusiasts, I'm just dying to know what sort of cool stuff people are tithing this season. Sorry, Sam, no can do. The only people allowed in there are me and the Big Mac himself. And I only go in there when I'm putting a new gift in the vault. A new gift? A toaster? A toaster? That is a toaster. That's an idea. Now I'll go ahead and try out that idea after this episode break. So we'll be right back, and when we come back, I'll do the thing that I just said I'm going to try. And also we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of future looking here, and that sort of thing, because we, it's probably a good idea to make sure we cover our bases.